Ascension Agurum, and today we present to you a new show called The Mystery of Custodia, which is made specifically for online use in the style of the classic film noir. Lyrica Woods, combined with a melodious theme, will take you on a journey to the eerie underbelly of the school with a finale of great proportions. But first, a few rules of the theatre. Please do not use flash photography because it will shine on the screen and ruin the experience for everyone. And if you want to eat snacks while watching the show at home, we don't care. But just remember to clean up afterwards. We can't be held responsible for the Diet Coke and hot sauce puddles left on the couch cushions. Trust me, we've been there before. In case of an emergency, find the nearest exit, quietly climb over your brothers and sisters, and get out of Dodge. A reminder, this is a musical, but please leave the singing to the professionals on your screen. Do not try this at home without proper training. Our scene begins today with the semi-famous Skip Sinnel giving the news of the day. Well, your beloved Campus Chronicles beat reporter, speaking truth to power and morning announcements to middle schoolers. Our top stories today. Multiple cheerleaders have confessed to participating in a humid pyramid scheme. The possum that lives on the roof of the school is it getting smarter. And finally, two staff members haven't been seen in several days. I'm referring specifically to our beloved Miss Linda, the lunch lady, best known for her chocolate cherry chimichangas, our janitor, Mr. Humphrey, best known for his ominous scowl and sacred waste management habits. In a stunning and potentially related turn of events, our school drama teacher, Mr. McGurry, has been moved to the custodian department, which the administration reports is due to budget cuts and not due to the mysteriously missing janitor. Seems suspicious, if you ask me. And if you ask me, you should always ask me. We now go to Mr. McGurry for a comment on what's going on. And now a word from Mr. McGarry. Hello there, students, fellow faculty, the possum. I would like to reassure all of you that my new custodial position is not a demotion, but a lateral move to an equally important position. Like a jazz square that stops halfway through. A jazz line, if you will. I believe that keeping our school artistic is just as important as keeping our school clean. Because when life gives you lemons, you should make a lemon meringue pie. I mean, I've never made a lemon meringue pie. You see, it's very tricky. And anyway, it's nice to have goals. Look, what I'm trying to say is, if anyone has what it takes for the job, it's me. Cleaning is just like theater, and don't say that it's not. When I mop, I'll channel Shakespeare, and I'll cry out, band spot. Custodians are theater artists, 
The school's their masterpiece And like theater directors They're sick of seeing Greece Oh, I'll sweep like Dick Van Dyke And have a tap break now and then Then I'll plunge into the toilets Like Javert into the Seine The Seine Cleaning is just like theater an art that's truly fine, so fetch the Windex and the squeegee, cause it's my time to shine, literally. So, in conclusion, don't cry for me, student body, and I'll have you know that I've been plotting the most important event of the year. No, the century, so put that in your pan and cook it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go clean up a mess in the fax room because someone has accidentally spilled some lemons and eggs and lemon meringue pie filling. No idea who did it. Ciao! This has been a word from Mr. McGarry. Hey Drama Gang, Foster here, holding Ginger the Goldfish, or the remains of Ginger the Goldfish. She kicked the bucket this week. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't carrying your dead fish around kind of weird? But I'll tell you what's weird. The things going on at this school. Lunch Lady Linda and the janitor gone missing? Miss McGarry suddenly a custodian? I'm headed to the one place you can both flush a fish and flush out a mystery. Custodia. Yep, that's right, Janitor Humphrey's secret lair in the back of the school. Now, I know what you're thinking. Foster, no one knows what's in Custodia. No one's allowed in Custodia. Mr. Humphrey doesn't like it's going near Custodia, or going near anything. But now, grumpy Mr. Humphrey's gone, Lunch Lady Linda has vanished, and Miss McGarry is refusing to spill the dirt on her new janitor job, which is presumably a lot of dirt. And you guys know I love a mystery. So here I am, alibi in hand, recording this video in case I get caught skipping second period. Ginger here is my plausible deniability. And also my friend who is dead. Not necessarily in that order, but look, this is important. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad Miss McGarry is keeping such a good attitude about this. But auditions for the school musical start tomorrow. And if she's not there to lead the drama club, our show will be directed by Coach Rockjaw. <gasps> Coach Rockjaw. <gasps> he once asked me what jerseys they wear in Jersey Boys. So I'm telling you, drama gang, I'm not just going to Custodia for myself. I'm going there for all of us and my dad. I've always loved a mystery They're pretty much the bomb Used to stay up reading Sherlock Then interrogate my mom Oh, mysteries are daunting, yes They're filled with fear and doubt But my dead fish and I are gonna figure one out Isn't that right, Ginger? Ginger? Oh, right I'm not a stranger to a mystery Just check out all my logs There's an abandoned dugout at the school And a freezer full of frogs But no one's face custodia So dark and probably cursed But my dead fish and I But my dead fish and I Be careful, Foster. I don't want to exaggerate, but literally everything I've heard about, talked about, or thought about for the past forever is the fact that Lunch Lady Linda and Mr. Humphrey vanished into thin air. And the last time I saw Miss Linda, she was walking right towards Custodia. I don't want to make any baseless speculatory remarks, but for all we know, Miss Linda has suffered a gruesome fate too horrible for words. 
I know you can be a little dramatic, so I'm begging you. Just begging you. Turn it down. Oh, no, I see what I did there. Don't worry. I have a calming technique for situations just like these. It works like this. There's so much here that we don't know, it's really overwhelming So let's use a little logic and we'll be okay Mr. Humphrey's up with shifty, put the odds at 50-50 Either left seems wrong or there was foul play Frankly, when I think about it, some things are just think about it Nothing is for sure, but now I've got a hunch Mr. Humphrey is a killer, he's a killer, just a girl Now I'm cheating in the night, cheating, cheating in the night Now I'm cheating in the night, says lunch Hey guys, I know school just let out for the day, but this is an emergency video call. Carrie, you were right. Something seriously weird is going on in Custodia. Not only did I not see Mr. Humphrey, but it was all dark down there. I had to use my phone flashlight to flash Ginger down what was either a custodial sink or a bathtub for strange, unusually shaped children. And then, just as I was going to leave, I found this. A wallet. And I thought it couldn't be Mr. Humphreys because he hasn't been in school. But then I found his ID inside and this creepy poem. I promise I will keep you safe. I'll watch over you until you die. You'll never be far from sight. We share the ties that bind. So I'm thinking three things here. One, if Mr. Humphrey may still be in custodia. Two, if he is and we didn't see him, Custodia may be bigger than we ever imagined. And three, if this poem is about Miss Linda and she still is missing, she could be in serious trouble. And three, the reprise. With Miss McGarry acting so strange, we can't rule out the option that she's not in on this whole thing. Look, I really don't want Coach Brockjaw directing the musical any more than you guys do. He once asked Carrie who runs defense on a chorus line. But auditions for the school musical start tomorrow, which means we have 24 hours to figure out if we can trust Miss McGarry. So I'm calling the whole drama club to come help see, one, if we can trust Miss McGarry, two, where Miss Linda is, and three, just what's going on here. The only problem is I only get 15 minutes of video call time ever since the digital reading of Angels in America parts one and two. Now my parents monitor all my social apps. Does anybody have any way we can talk confidentially? Foster, I'm glad you asked. As it happens, I've been working on an app just for us drama kids. It's like YouTube, but better, more confidential, and the algorithm doesn't keep recommending. I watch the cast of Riverdale do ASMR with slime. We can chat on it as long as we want. And the only way to access the app is by answering passcode questions that only us drama kids will know the answer to. Like, who got spun off during turntable during Lim Miss two years ago? Ashley Newman, who got trapped under Milky White during Into the Woods. Ashley Newman, who broke down during Grease and had to be carried off stage. True question, both the car and Ashley Newman. I'm telling you guys, this app is a game changer. To answer any other questions you might have, here's my assistant Lane with a helpful presentation. Does the concept of a Snapchat Fill your mom and dad with fright. Do you have to clear your browsing history every single night? We must communicate, stay up to date, no matter where we are. My friends, there is an app for that, and it's spelled T-H-E-A-T-E-R. E-R. Theater er, theater er, a drama gossip whisperer for sharing stuff with each other. It's super fun and quite secure. Theater er, theater er, like a trendy app, it ends in er. It's really gonna cause a stir. So log on now to theater er. Woo! I still don't know why I didn't do a PowerPoint. I need some water. Hey followers, it's Maddox here. Sorry, I mean drama club friends. 
It could be so hard to remember I'm not running an immensely successful food reviews channel when I normally am running an immensely successful food reviews channel. I'm sure you all can imagine the stress. But as the resident foodie of the drama club, I wanted to hop on this new app. Thanks, Techie and Lane, and let everyone know they should savor their Salisbury steak today. Because from now on, the cafeteria is only going to be serving fish. I overheard one of the lunch ladies whispering today in line, and she said, and I quote, There's only going to be one option, fish. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Maybe it's due to the budget cuts. Maybe it's due to the disappearance of lunch lady Linda. All I know is, if you want more food news, or as I like to call it, views, like, share, and subscribe. Oh shoot, I did it again. Maddox, time to eat. Your dinosaur chicken nuggets are ready. Mommy, not in front of my friends. Okay guys, Terry here. Please don't think I'm dramatic like my sister Carrie, but I was at home feeding my cat's dinner when I saw all your messages and I immediately rushed right back to Custodia where I'm already searching for more clues. I don't know what Mr. Humphrey did to make Lunch Lady Linda disappear or how Miss McGarry got tricked into taking his old job. If you ask me, we can't trust that Gretchen Jander as far as we can throw him. I mean, if the entire drama club teamed up, we could probably throw him a couple of yards. But then he'd be really grouchy. I heard that if a teacher ever looks at him funny, he leaves a caution wet floor sign outside the classroom for a week. Even if it's not a wet floor. How messed up is that? Wait, what are these? Oh no, these were lunch lady Linda's. She did get, did get lowered down to Custodia. And, and what's this? Where does this go? O-M-G. I'm starting to panic. Okay, what was that calming technique my sister taught me? Didn't it go like... There's so much here that we don't know. It's really overwhelming. So let's use a little logic so we don't get scared. All of Linda's things are here, which honestly is kind of queer, but maybe she just wanted different clothes to wear. But not most without a map, and maybe this is all a trap. And Mr. Humphrey Quinn, this would catch me too. One of the exercise, not freaking out high. Tell my cats I bet them I do. I have huge clues news, or as I call it, clues. So I was at the mall tonight, right? Because I wanted to swing by GameStop and get the new game Animal Flossing. You know, the one with the really cute animals that do fun victory dances and fight each other to the death. Except, I had to get my older sister to drive me, and she wanted to go to the jewelry store. So while I was standing there waiting for her to stop talking about, I don't know, ear bristles or whatever, I see it. A ring box labeled Elmer Humphrey. Now, I don't know Mr. Humphrey's first name for certain, but I've read enough books to know if your name is Elmer, you're most certainly a cranky old man. And Mr. Humphrey is a very cranky old man. Oh, and get this, it said one to rule them all on the lid. So here's what I'm thinking is going on here. Mr. Humphrey is an evil wizard, huh? Huh? Do you guys think this could be anything? Look, I'm just spitballing here. Add me on animal flossing, peace. everyone, it's Gloria. Terry gave me the key this afternoon when we were rehearsing for tomorrow's audition. She's okay, by the way. Just a little anxious. I am too. I so hope I don't have to audition for Coach Brackjaw. One time I asked him if he'd ever seen Chicago, and he said, the Bears or the Cubs. And I'll admit, when me and Terry hung out, did she mention that it was my birthday? No. And if any of you mentioned it yet today, which is a day that I might wish add is almost over, also no. But I'm still here to be a good friend, going through spooky custodial labyrinth on my birthday, trying to find a hole that fits this key. Wait, oh my God, this is the door. Wait, oh my God. 
guys did remember it was my birthday. You guys are the best drama club ever. I am so sorry I doubted any of you. At last I feel my life's complete And it feels so good And it tastes so sweet I've watched other people's birthdays every year since I was nine And now finally someone remembered Wait, hold on, I'm getting some chat messages Let me read them real quick Wait, so you guys didn't know it was my birthday? Well then, who put these balloons here? Did the janitor know it was my birthday? Did the possum? Ugh, I think I need some alone time. Good morning, everyone. And by everyone, I mean the drama club. And by good morning, I mean Jacques. I'm Skip Sinwell, your beloved Campus Chronicles beat reporter. Here is some breaking in news. That's right, I found out about your unprofessional little investigation, and I've infiltrated your so-called secret application. Using drama club secrets as credentials, you forget that those secrets aren't so secret when you have to review every single production for the Campus Chronicles. Well, I personally find this a complete affront to the good name of investigative reporting, so I will be commencing my own official investigation. I did not take one semester of journalism to be out scooped by some theater nerds and tap shoes. More details at 11, or whenever I feel like it. Sorry about that, just some technical difficulties. If everybody wouldn't mind updating their apps, we're going to go ahead and remove some pesky bugs and unauthorized access. Due to popular demand from the drama club, we have also added more videos of the cast in Riverdale doing ASMR with slime. I hope you all remember that when I need money for my first startup, for my first, to launch my first startup, now, another school day is beginning, and if we haven't gone to the bottom of this by 3 p.m. today, we'll be all auditioning for Coach Brockjaw, the man who once asked me if Pippin was about some guy named Scotty. Everyone get cracking. And since the app's about to be down for a second, Lane, cover me. Theater Earth, Theater Earth, some issues with our processor. Just think of just how much more fun we'll have in version 1.1. Updating without a hitch. Three hours left? Oh, that's a glitch. Thanks for patience, ma'am or sir. I'll see you soon on Theater Earth. You all are just expecting me to make these up on the fly now. I need to be paid more. And now for a word from our sponsors. Do you ever use your phone when you aren't supposed to? Just bring this handy cell phone accessory that will lock up your phone so you don't get distracted by it. Please put your phone away. Where are the rest of okay. I'm sorry. Berkeley, I've already asked you once. Can you please put your phone away? Sorry, I want Actually, to show you. I have this handy dandy cell phone accessory pouch. Now, you won't get distracted while we're at dinner. And this is for $12.99 with tax, tip, no free shipping, and some assembly required. Thank you for buying this product. 
Cell phone locking pouch available at your local electronics store. <sighs> I'm so bored. I wish there was something to make me happy. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. My friend got me something called laughing lotion. Let me see if it works. Hmm. Try this. <laughs> Man, I'm so bored. Um, maybe I can try these superhero sneaker doodles. Um, okay, here goes nothing. Uh, uh, oh, oh wowzers! I'm a sailor. Now I can protect all the animal, animals of the gray water. This is so fun. I'm gonna try the red one next. Achoo! Hot fudge! I'm lava girl. Now I can protect all the volcanoes. Oh yeah! Achoo! Okay, superhero snicker doodles in all your local stores for $2.99. Side effects may include as laugh itis. Sticker doodle toodaloo! We now resume the mystery of Custodia. Hey everyone, I have some big news. No phones allowed, sorry. Sorry, I'm recording from my first period library study hall and I just overheard a group of teachers whispering, which I for one think is a very suspicious thing to do in a library, which I should know because I'm being very suspicious right now. I couldn't make out everything, but it sounded like they said, that sneaky man, something, something, captured her, something, I can't believe something, 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 honor, I would something, murmur, something, honor, this whole thing, mysterious whispering, fiasco. Then, Coach Brockjaw said, I don't know if we can trust McGarry with something this important. I think Mr. McGarry got caught up with Lunch Lady Linda's disappearance in some sort of wicked librarian teacher janitor cult. And I think Brockjaw pushed him to do it so then he could take over the musical. Put your phone down. See? That's extremely wicked. We've only got one short day to help Mr. McGarry before he gets caught up in something bad for good. If every girl is so funny, you'll be given detention. I'm not that girl. Danny here. Some of you may not recognize me because I play in the pit band, which means I spend half my life in a tiny room underground. But I'm in the drama club, and I'm as dedicated to finding the truth about Custodia as the rest of you. Mostly because a secret network of tunnels under the school would be very helpful to me, as there's hardly any room in the pit band for my toaster oven, my mini fridge, or my hammock. My life is very hard. That is the bad news. Here is the worst news. I checked the band room after second period jazz ensemble and I couldn't find any clues. I checked the offices, the rehearsal rooms, even the tuba cases. Nothing, nada, fromada. But I can't spend all day looking for clues. Some of us have to practice for the Allstate jazz ensemble auditions. Wait, what's this? Someone put a new piece in my folder. It says, for the Humphrey event. Guys, I think it's a clue. All right, let's check it out, folks. Darth Vader. 
later. That sounds ominous. And we all know what that means. Ominous music means bad things are about to happen. That's Pit Band 101, right after. Be careful with the toaster oven. Guys, I'm really worried about Janitor Humphrey. Is this thing on? Okay, listen, I don't have much time. After Clara mentioned the librarian acting weird, I did what any normal person would do. I followed Mr. McGarry to his car in the teacher's lot and then hid in a bus. Now, we all know McGarry's law. Mr. McGarry has never once left a building without forgetting at least one thing inside of it. And sure enough, right after he unlocked the car, he realized he'd forgotten something and went back inside to get it. his car and I'm gonna try and see if I can find a clue in here. Wow, I guess adults get to eat fast food whenever they want and then not clean it up. I can't wait to tell my mom about this. Wait, I forgot I'm committing a crime. Nobody tell my mom about this. Look, a note. It says, tiger food, prohibitively expensive. Must find solution. What? What does Mr. McGarry know about tiger food? Wait, my older brother once showed me a documentary about someone who feeds people to tigers. Nobody tell my mom about that either. Could Mr. Humphrey have fed lunch Lady Linda to? No, it couldn't be. Wait, Mr. McGarry's coming back. I gotta go. Ooh, a chicken nugget. Hey, I guess I should probably explain why I've been hiding in the facts from this whole time. First off, one of these days, Mr. McGeary is bound to actually make a successful lemon meringue pie, and I want to be there where that happens. But more importantly, I don't think the drama club would like what I have to say about Janitor Humphrey, and that's that I think he's a really nice guy. One time, after a late rehearsal, Mr. Humphrey helped me load my science fair winning baking soda volcano to the back of my bike, and I've never forgotten how kind that was. You try loading your own baking soda volcano to the back of your bike after it erupted. Those things are slippery. Sure, he's kind of quiet, and he doesn't smile all the time, but who does? Well, us theater kids do, but have you met us? We're exhausting, and I think we're all being a little quick to judge here. Dr. Seuss was awkward, Newton was aloof. Lincoln stood at six foot four, but hardly raised the roof. Meryl Streep's an introvert, so that alone should say, sometimes being quiet's okay. Gandhi wasn't shoddy, Cher is very shy. Snape seemed scary, then helped Harry frequently not die. With quiet things like cats and trees and yoga, we're so blessed. So if for once you theater kids could give it a rest. I mean, sometimes being quiet, a little verbal diet. Often being quiet is best. I mean, best. Third period dance class was killer today, guys. Ballet, okay. Bar work the entire time. Oh my goodness. My legs are gonna fall off. But your heads are gonna fall off when you hear this. I overheard my ballet instructor, Miss Sheila, say that Mr. Humphrey, our janitor, Mr. Humphrey, has epic dance moves. <laughs> I know, right? So, here's what I was thinking. The man has killer moves. The man has endless real estate in the form of custodia. Put those two together, and what do you get? That's right. Janitor Humphrey is running an exclusive, 
high-end underground Zumba studio from under the school. And he's forcing Lunch Lady Linda and Miss McGrew to be his backup dancers. And before you say I'm way off base, check this out. I want some Mr. Humphrey dancing with his groom just like this. I know I'm supposed to be stocking these canned goods here at the school's food drive, but what after I just heard, I knew I had to contact you right away. When I was picking up these canned goods last night, I overheard one of the church volunteers saying that the sanctuary was too small for Mr. Humphrey and Lunch Lady Linda's upcoming service. When you put together everything we've learned these past few days, it finally all makes sense. Mr. Humphrey and Lunch Lady Linda are both dead. And McGarry did it. And now they're having a joint funeral. And, oh, it's just so sad. These were special people who made our days clean and fed us healthy, nutritious. Well, they made our days clean. Now I'll honor them by helping bring this food to the needy. Nothing will distract me from, oh no, I'm gonna be late for auditions. Bye. All right, guys, this is it, the moment of truth. I'm here at the Drama Club office. Miss McGarry is nowhere in sight. In any second now, Coach Brockjaw will make us audition for The Greatest Showman, which I know for a fact he thinks is a documentary about Rob Gronkowski. I've assembled all the clues we've gathered, and it's time to announce my conclusions. When you put together the strange disappearances, the wallet, the key, the poem, the ring box, the balloons, the whispering, the music, the dancing, the tiger food, and the service, it all becomes clear. Mr. Humphrey turned Lunch Lady Linda into tiger food so that he could serve mercury-filled fish in the cafetorium to clear out the school to use it for his Lord of the Rings themed Zumba dancing club. And also, they're both dead. Oh, what's the use? We failed. I have failed. I don't know what we're going to do about this. Or where Miss Linda has disappeared to. I guess I'm not cut out to solve a mystery after all. I thought I love a mystery. A chance to use my brain. But nothing here is making sense. And Ginger's down the drain. Yes, I'm not cut out for this, much to my dismay. My dead fish and I had better call it a day. I guess I'd better go pick out my dress for the funeral service. Wait, that's it. Dress? Service? And what's this? A video call from Skip Sinwell? No way, Skip. There's no way you're cracking this investigation before me. Good afternoon, everyone. With an eye for justice and an impeccable sense of timing, I have chosen now to reveal the findings of my investigation. This just in, all members of the Drama Club are being asked to report immediately to Custodia. Okay, let's see. How old do you have to be to win the Pulitzer Prize for Investigative Journalism? 23? 
What if I get a note from my parents? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Finally, you've all arrived. Welcome to Custodia Drama Club. And don't expect to leave anytime soon. I hear you've been on a crazy manhunt to find some very personal information about some of our staff. The first thing you should know is, it's none of your business what the adults do in their personal time. The second thing is, wait, why are you all looking at me like that? Ah, hold on. Sorry about that. It's very damp down here and there are leaks everywhere. So, I have to wear this hoodie. Now, where was I? Ah, right. Since you'll all find out soon anyway, I thought it's best I should tell you. Mr. Humphrey and Lunch Lady Linda, who, by the way, is just called Linda, are getting married tomorrow. What's that, Foster? You already knew? Well, I bet you didn't know this, that I, being the best director in the city, have been acting as wedding planner and master of ceremonies. Oh, you figured that out too. Well, I'm counting that as a victory for our education system, so you're welcome. Anyway, that's why I haven't been around a lot. I've been trying to keep a low profile while running a high profile gig. Auditions will, of course, be postponed to give you the time and attention you clearly demand. I would have told you earlier, but... Artists can't be expected to keep track of anything, especially not when they're imagining, planning, and executing the greatest exotic animal-themed pescatarian wedding this middle school has ever seen. Oh, and another thing. I know some of you have some harsh things to say about Mr. Humphrey. But if he ever seems tired or grumpy, it's because he works two jobs so he can send his money to the Give a Kid a Croc Foundation, which ensures that every child in Eastern Europe has both a slow cooker and a pair of soft, holy shoes. And in his spare time, he also volunteers at big cat shelters. And I must confess, Mr. Humphrey has saved several of our musicals. When the turntable broke in Les Mis and started throwing actors willy-nilly, Mr. Humphrey fixed it. When the car broke down in Greece and started spewing wiper fluid all across the stage, it was Mr. Humphrey who cleaned it up. And when Ashley Newman cried so much on the closing night of Matilda that her salty tears threatened to discolor the stage, it was Mr. Humphrey who desalinated the floorboards. So. In conclusion, don't jump to conclusions, and don't judge a book by its cover. Now, I have a song I want you to learn, and it goes something like this. You had yourself an escapade, you reached the finish line. But with every step along the way, you misread every sign. God, that your custodian was a ghost who haunts the halls But you never took the time to see behind those coveralls What if you flip the magnifying glass for another point of view? Cause you think you know when you just don't know, no You don't have a clue, no, no You think you know when you just don't know, no You don't have a clue today. The Cross Country Club has decided to rename themselves in the spirit of honesty and will now be known as Across a Good Portion of Town Club. The possum that lives on the roof of the school has learned how to fill a scantron. And last but certainly not least, 
School bells weren't the only bells pealing through these halls last night. A wedding occurred, which this reporter correctly predicted, and lunch lady Linda walked down the cafetoria mile to marry Mr. Humphrey, accompanied by a flash mob from our very own drama club. Music was provided by Danny and the rest of the pit band, and flower girl duties were handled by Ashley Newman, until halfway up the aisle when she remembered that she was allergic to... most flowers and had to be escorted out by medical professionals. Sometimes a flair for the dramatic is needed, and this reporter is grateful for the drama club for sending me on my greatest investigative inquiry to date and keeping everyone on their toes, not least of all, themselves. The entire school was in attendance, as were many members of the local dance committee, which Linda and Mr. H are both card-carrying members. The bride wore white and hairnet, and the groom tried his typically dirty coveralls for some slightly cleaner coveralls. We wish these two lovebirds all the best as they begin their new life together, and we here at Campus Chronicles would like to editorialize on one last note.